Say Yama. In Sydney's inner west, these locals are some of the 1,000 recruits being trained to encourage people to vote yes to an Indigenous voice. I believe that it will change us as a nation. If we want some really deep, meaningful change, then everyone has to get on board. Thank you all for the work. The council is hopeful this will become a model for others. Through this grassroots method, we can make sure that Australians are properly informed when it gets to referendum day. But across town, some feel they're not being properly informed. They're not telling us nothing. They need to tell us what it is. It's a great thing, it's just very misunderstood. Sydney's West has one of the highest Indigenous populations in the country. At the Marana Aboriginal Community Association in Richmond, there are questions about how locals will raise their voices. We need people working for us from within um, that have cultural understanding, follow protocols and know the issues on the ground. Well, you can double leave that. Yeah. For Ngempa artist Danny Eastwood, it's a clearer picture. The voice is saying, we need housing, we need health, we need all these things um, to take care of because we have 60,000 years of knowledge about our people. It's evident there's a mix of views, not only in the Indigenous community, but more broadly. Despite this, what is certain is that many want Indigenous voices to be at the centre of any discussion. Uniting the nation remains a major hurdle, with Australians set to vote by the end of the year. Nakari Thorpe, ABC News, Sydney.